Here's how you set up a homemade cloud chamber. First, you take some towels so that you can create an insulated chamber for some dry ice. A nice slab of dry ice is required to keep the system cold. And then I took a old CD case, painted it black on the inside, glued a rag on the inside top where I could put my 91% alcohol. I set that on top of the dry ice and then I raise my towels up to make a nice insulated section. Afterwards, I will douse the lights in the main room and I'll turn on a flashlight to illuminate the super saturated alcohol towards the bottom of the detector. This is going to be a very small detector. It only covers a few centimeters if I had a second flashlight going, you could look on both sides of this chamber. But for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm only going to show the one side. And forgive the jostling of my camera here. I could not see very well the experiment through the video camera. Even right now, where I'm looking at on the video, you can see the particulates falling. The, I call that rain. It is alcohol raining down. So what's happening is the alcohol is evaporating up above, and then when it hits the cooler air from the dry ice, it begins to rain. And what you have here now is a zone of supersaturated alcohol. We shall see some small tracks that are created by, there was one, the muons traveling through and causing a scintillation path, a contour trail through the supersaturated alcohol. And I'm going to let this go until we see a, a pretty good one. In only three minutes from where I set it up until I, I show you, there is one spectacular trail. Now, the reason why we don't see a lot of trails is, again, it's a small area. There was one. It, they are they're coming vertically mostly, and the vertical trails are only going to be a centimeter in size and then fall to the bottom of the chamber very quickly. Whereas a really nice trail that comes in across this has to come from the horizon, literally the horizon of the earth. And we can see a very good trail there. Thanks for watching and hope you have fun setting up your own cosmic ray cloud chamber detector.